Happy Final Four Friday, Boilermakers. It's April 5th, and I'm Alex Kuban. And I'm Jillian Huckleberry. Welcome to Fast Track News, Purdue's student-run news magazine from the Brian Lamb School of Communication. Here's what we're working on for today's newscast at noon. Just one more day until the men's basketball team takes on NC State in the Final Four. We could just feel the excitement all week on campus. Our Fast Track sports team is headed to Phoenix. Follow us on Instagram at Purdue Fast Track News to see all the fun. More big news this week for Purdue and the city of West Lafayette. The governor, staff from the White House, and Purdue President Meng Chang and former President Mitch Daniels hosted a major economic development announcement Wednesday. Semiconductor chip maker SK Hynix announced plans to build a $4 billion factory in the Purdue Research Park. Jobs and partnerships with the university are in the works for the South Korean company's first North American location. Did you get a free burger on Memorial Mall this week? We were all over coverage of this annual event from the College of Agriculture. We spoke to one of the student organizers who explained why they keep this tradition going year after year. Voting is now over for the Purdue student government election, and we anxiously are waiting for the results, which we will pass along to you when they are released. Watch for our Instagram post in the meantime. We'll recap the candidate debate for you. And Monday is the great American solar eclipse, but will we even get to see it? Meteorologist Maria Vodder has your local campus forecast. She'll let us know if the clouds will stay away for the sun's big show. Those stories and much more ahead on Fast Track News at Noon. You can watch our broadcast on YouTube as well as the Purdue Channel. That's Comcast Channel 5 in Lafayette. Hopefully, we'll be coming to you next week with a story about a national title. Don't jinx us, Jillian. We're pulling for you, Boilers. Everyone have a great weekend.